the A500 Mini, at release, had its fair share of limitations. Even with the rise of the available soft mods, both emulation issues and controller support cannot be fixed, that is, until now. Introducing the A500 Mini Pandori Mod. To install, simply download it from the video description below, and then extract. This may take a while, so go get a brew. We'll need a USB stick handy, formatted to FAT32 MBR. If you already have a soft mod on a stick, and you have the space, you can just add Pandori to that. It'll work side by side without interfering with the other installs. So now let's select these files and just drag them over. It's me, John Luke. Did you miss me? Once we're done, we can add some of our games. Go into Pandori, then ROMs. In here we'll find separated ROM folders per system. Now we copy in our files. I think you're missing a very pretty ninja. Where's my... <laughs> okay, FB Neo is for arcade ROMs. Here's a Game Boy game. And two of the best Sonic games available. If you need any more help, there's a README file here. And then to add BIOS files, we'll need to go into User, Config, RetroArch, and then System. Just copy them in here. We do not provide any BIOS files in the download, but all of the Amiga BIOS files are copied over directly from the A500 Mini. If you need any other BIOS files, try finding them with help from the LibRetro wiki. Once we're finished, we safely eject, insert the USB stick into our Mini, and start her up. Once it's booted up, scroll over to our USB stick. My stick is ready for action. Open up Pandori, select this Pandori file, and then start her up. We're then greeted to RetroArch with some excellent music by Barry Leach. Along the top, we have the vast range of systems we can emulate. If your games do not show up, you'll need to use the RetroArch settings to refresh your playlists. Some homebrew games have been installed to start you off. We also have some thumbnails, or if you wish to, you can change this for box art. All standard RetroArch features are available, such as save state, as well as the ability to change core options. We can also remap the controls. If you have the Competition Pro Speed Link, or your buttons generally don't work for arcade games, you can set everything here. Video options are also catered for. We have integer scaling, as well as the ability to change to most aspect ratios. So let's check through some of the games. XJ220. Out on Europe. Fire and Ice. For this game, we did have to run frame skip, but it works great. It even supports IPF. I had it once. The doctor gave me some cream for it. It's quack. And we also have more controller support than the official firmware. If you want to play Settlers using two mice, with this, you can do it. Or how about some Oh No More Lemmings with two mice? We could even try some better versions on the Atari ST. And supercars. Here's Bruce Lee for the Commodore 64. Or some kid wearing a helmet. Doom? Quake! It also has support for scum VM games such as Day of the Tentacle. As well as... Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that! Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. The Amiga had some pretty shocking arcade ports, but now we can have the real arcade versions of these excellent games.
we have some excellent arcade fighters. Your lack of my is disturbing. I will turn you into a chicken. We can also add some handheld games. Here's some Game Boy. Game Boy Link. Game Boy Color. And Game Boy Advance. If you fancy your consoles, here's a NES. Or a SNES. N64. PC Engine. Master System. They slime you. Mega Drive. The 32X. Sega CD. I'm Gillian Seal. We can now also play PlayStation. I think I just will do it. If you want to get back to the retro arc menu, hold start for three seconds. And here we can close content, change our options, or start a different game. Finally, we have the applications menu. Currently, we can load up Linux Shell, native Scum VM, or we can exit back to the A500 Mini stock menu. For the developers among you, we have reverse engineered and recreated the toolchain that closely matches the original unreleased toolchain. This will let you compile your own programs and tools for the Linux side of the A500 Mini. We're still polishing that off, and it'll be released along with the source code under the GPL license next week. To finish off, here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. You guys are amazing, and you keep us moving and grooving. This has been Emu Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!